hello everyone and welcome to my second video on my series to machine learning if this is your first time actually watching this i would recommend that you watch my first video on introduction to machine learning specifically supervised learning i have put a link to this video in the description section below so from my previous video I explained what machine learning was and also explained that machine learning can actually be broadly classified to us supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning we went ahead to understand that supervised learning can also be subgrouped as classification and regression problems we got to understand or go through some existing algorithms for these two cases. And for this video, I would be focusing on unsupervised learning. But before then, I would want us to remind ourselves with the previous example I used for a supervised learning. We were interested in predicting the prices of houses in Ghana using information such as the number of bedrooms, location, and whether the house had a garage or not. However, the target or what we were interested in was to be able to predict the price of the house. And in this case, the price of the house was referred to as the label or the target. So in, an, in a supervised learning, we are giving a label data. That means that we are giving the feature or the target that we are interested in predicting. And in this case, it is the price of the house. However, in the case of an unsupervised learning, it is the direct opposite. We are not giving information on the price of the house, which is the label. We have no labels. Basically, we have no targets. And that means we are dealing with an unlabeled data. Having understood the concept of unsupervised learning, I would want to explain that unsupervised learning can actually be regrouped into two different techniques, that is clustering and association. I would explain each of these techniques one after the other, beginning with the clustering. So I would want to use an example of this data. This is a data that is given of different animals. We can see a dog here, a cat, and a rabbit. Well, this data has been given, but we have no labels. We do not know whether this actually is a dog or this is a cat. We have just been given the data. Now, in the case of using a clustering technique, we are interested in identifying hidden pattern in the data. That means that we will pass this input data through an unsupervised model or a cluster, clustering model, and through that we'll be able to regroup this data set into the similarities or the kind of connections that each of these data sets share. So in this case, we would have groups of the rabbits the cats and the dogs. And this is just basically an example of the clustering. We are able to regroup them into sub or classes that share similar features or characteristics. Now, I would want to explain the other technique, which is the association. Generally, association it, is an unsupervised learning technique as i already mentioned and is interested in finding the relationship in variables in a very large data set so let's take an example of a shopping mall so the shopping mall actually used this technique for market-based analysis what i mean by that is once you go as a customer to buy items from the supermarket they scan the barcode and they are able to tell what items you bought together in a single purchase. And they do this for every other customer they get. 
They keep this in their database and run analysis on them. From the analysis they run, they are able to tell which items do customers often actually buy together. And once they are able to tell this, they are able to rearrange their shop to have items that people buy often together close by. And this is a way to attract people to buy more. So let's say you entered the shop just to buy bread. But once you entered, from the analysis they have made, they realize that most often people buy bread and margarine, margarine or jam together. So they put these close by. You entered with the mindset just to buy bread, but you see the margarine and you end up picking it because it goes with the bread. And this is just a way for them to actually increase or increase their sales or get more customers. So we have understood these two techniques of unsupervised learning, the clustering and association. I would want to mention some of the existing algorithms of each of these two techniques. Beginning with clustering, we have the K-means, PCA, and TISNI, and TISNI actually refers to us the T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. And for the association, we have these three algorithms. And E class actually refers to as equivalent class transformation, whereas FP refers to as the frequent pattern algorithm. So to recap, we have looked at what unsupervised learning is. We have looked at the two existing algorithm or techniques for an unsupervised learning. We have also briefly gotten to know some of the existing algorithms for an unsupervised learning. If you actually enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Also make it a point to share this video to some others who would learn something from this. In my next video, I will touch on reinforcement learning and we'll get to understand how reinforcement learning is applied to different areas. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.